today guys, my name is Alan Yoho and today I'm going to be showing you how to install the P3 Gauges Boost Tab. The P3 Gauges Boost Tab is a very easy install and a more accurate way of reading accurate boost levels on your vehicle. Now the Boost Tab itself direct or installs directly into your intake manifold where the factory manifold absolute pressure or map sensor is located. Your first step is going to be removing the engine cover to access your map sensor a little easier. Next, you're going to take a T20 screwdriver and remove the screw holding on the map sensor. T20. After you've removed the bolt, you're going to struggle like I am here and remove the map sensor from the manifold itself. After that, you will slide in the provided spacer P3 provides and again, struggle to get that dang thing on. You'll hear an audible kind of pop when the piece has been correctly seated. Uh, it should go down a little bit more. You yeah, should hear, um, there you go, it's popped. Yep, there you go, yes, that was the pop. Then, using a T25 screw that is provided from P3, screw down the factory map sensor on top of the P3, P3 gauges boost tab. Be careful here because the map sensor is made of plastic, you don't want to snap the sensor. Once that is done, you can move it to removing your battery. The battery does not have to be removed to be able to reach the grommet in the firewall to run the vacuum line. Then for the life of me, I cannot remember what the size of this bolt is, but remove the bolt holding the battery into the battery tray. At this time, you will remove the battery and set it aside. Now for this part, we really didn't film much, but um, you're under their steering column, you're going to remove this grommet. And as you can see here, I'm putting a small slash into the grommet. That's so I can be able to run the vacuum line directly through that hole right there. Then turn to your assistant mat and grab the vacuum line and shove that line right through the grommet so that way you guys can run it right through your firewall. Seriously though, I cannot thank Matt enough for help on this install. Um, made it a whole lot easier to record and to put the do the whole install process. So thanks again to Matt. Put his social media link here. It's Pyrotech Mark 7 r So go ahead and make sure you guys follow him. And then at this time, we're going to go ahead and head back to the vehicle. You'll actually be able to see that area I was talking about before. So here you can actually see where you take out the grommet. Um, so you're just going to slide the wire up through there, have your buddy come and help you pull that wire up through and put your grommet back in. Once you feed up the cable up through your firewall to your buddy, have him go ahead and pull the fi pull the vacuum line up. And at this point is when you're going to start running your vacuum line now. I would suggest running your vacuum line in the easiest way possible so that way it has to the least tra distance to travel. This line is decently long, but it's not the longest thing in the world, so make sure you run it so it's not touching any major components, and at the same time, it's not going to get st uh, smashed or kind of have any pressure on it. You want this to be free-flowing line so that way it's not being interrupted by anything. So you can see at this point, I just take a little WD-40. This is all point is optional, but it just helped me get the vacuum line onto the boost tap a little bit easier and didn't have to struggle as much to put the vacuum line on. Now, I did kind of double check and make sure that the vacuum line itself didn't fall off from the boost tap, probably from the next week after. Just kind of monitor it. You'll, you'll definitely know if something happens and the boost line comes off. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to flip it. At this point, you're actually finally done under the engine bay. You can go back inside the car and you're just gonna finish that or tidying up the vacuum line. What I'm doing here is just kind of running the vacuum line so it's out of the way. Um, if you had a clutch, you definitely wanna make sure you do this. Or if you're like me with the automatic, I was just worried that maybe something I was going to kick it or something. I don't like exposed wires. So just for general safety, make sure you hide your wire and get it out of the way so you don't end up pumping into it. Now, if you are buying this part new, make sure you do select the analog boost sensor. You will need this. I forgot to film the actual install of this, so I'm just going to show you an older video. If you haven't already bought this product, you can actually buy it separately, right, from P3 Gauges itself. Now, here is the video of kind of me showing you in an older video of where to actually plug in the analog sensor, and then pretty obviously that the vacuum line just plugs into the uh, sensor itself as well. Um, as I said in a earlier this is for your analog boost or sorry not the analog boost but if you end up running a boost tap into the engine bay you'll plug the boost tap into here um as i said i don't know what kind of boost numbers i'm running yet so that's one reason why we're getting the boost gauge but we're going to go ahead and connect now hopefully that we're not above 22.5 pounds but if we are we're gonna have to get the boost sensor as well so might just make one whole video of connecting that piece in if it ends up going that way. So we're just going to go ahead and remove this 3M tape. 
All right, finally, we just need to switch over the boost gauge to read vacuum from the boost tab rather than from the OBD2, which Matt will show you how to do right now. Just press both buttons. <clears throat> Go to boost A. You can cycle through by pressing the left one. And then you go to Cal B, left click, make sure your car is turned off, cycle through, once you're done with that, All right, guys, so that's the end of the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please drop a like and a comment down below and let me know what you think. Um, this is the first time I've ever filmed a video doing a voiceover option. So if you guys enjoyed it and something you'd like to see me do in the future, please let me know. If you guys can hear that, my life is taking a big change and I apologize for not posting for actually the last year. It's been a little over a year now. But I am now a father and have a beautiful two-month-old little boy uh, named Ellis, so i blessed. So that's one reason why I've been taking a little bit of time off. Um, also just kind of doing my own little thing. I have had a lot of things happen to the car since the last video. Um, one of the things I think I've actually mentioned before is the car is now running on the Unitronic uh, Stage 2 Overrun file. So we've got the pops and bangs, so we'll be doing a video on that here shortly. Um, I've got LED install videos to do. I've got a whole bunch of things. I've actually lowered the car now thanks to our partners with uh, white line suspension. So that'll be another fun little video to kind of take you guys along. Don't have actual video of the install process. Um, had a, Me and a friend kind of did it, and I thought, yeah, I'll have enough time to film it and do all this whole process. And you know how that goes. You just kind of stop so didn't actually end up doing it but cannot talk greater about the whole ride of the white line suspension um so look forward to a video of that and i don't know just a whole bunch of other things going on um i've been in two car accidents since the last time too so the car's been fixed once the other time it's not super noticeable but we'll do a whole walk around the video car and you guys can kind of see like what's what's new what's changed so we can kind of go through that um finally got tires for the car because they were balding too so finally got the car running in tip-top shape um it's also getting close to that forty thousand mile mark so we will be doing a, a dsg fluid change um probably should also do a spark plug change here soon too as well because Spark plugs are still on the car from factory, and the car's at 40,000 miles almost, and still running on or running on the stage two boost. I'm kind of curious of how the spark plugs look under there. So a couple little maintenance things here and there, plus finally going to be fixing those rocker panels and just a whole bunch of other cool ideas I've got going on for the car. So hopefully I can continue making videos here soon for you guys, and you guys will enjoy the content I put out for you. So if you guys did, remember, drop a like, um, follow me on any of the social media, I'll put that right here so you guys can go and check that out. My Instagram is finally at 10,000, so I greatly appreciate you guys hitting that. And we are at 3,000 at the time of recording for actually 3.04 thousand subscribers on YouTube. So it's awesome. Never thought I'd be this high on subscribers or have this many subscribers actually. So I appreciate that as well. So if you guys aren't already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button down here. Check out another one of my videos I'll have posted here at the end of the video. And uh, yeah, thanks guys for watching. Peace out. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.